Part 7 of the Poopy Pants Killer. I apologize for such a long wait. TikTok actually deleted four videos right in a row and banned me from posting for 14 days. And if you haven't seen those parts, I did re-upload them to my YouTube channel, but here's your warning. They are extremely graphic, so please do not watch them if you get disturbed easily. So finally, after countless suspicions that Mark Redwine had something to do with his son's Dylan's disappearance, the FBI got a search warrant to search his home. And conveniently, as soon as the FBI were about to walk into his home, he had some new information he had to tell them. Despite never mentioning this to the police, he would then tell them that when he picked up Dylan from the airport, he had a very bad cold sore on his lip, and if they found blood in his home, it would be from that. Then, when the FBI told Mark that they would be able to confirm that with the flight attendants of Dylan's flight, his story changed. In the same conversation, Mark then told the FBI that he threw a Nerf gun at Dylan's mouth, which caused it to bleed. FBI would later testify that they did in fact find evidence of Dylan's blood all throughout the home. They even had cadaver dogs that picked up a scent of human remains, not only on the couch that Dylan was sleeping on, but also in the bathroom, uh, Dylan's father's truck, and on the clothes that Dylan's father was wearing that very night. But here's what really upsets me. The police did nothing with this information because Dylan's body had still not been found. But then on June 27th, 2013, they finally found Dylan's remains. And in the next video, we will talk about what condition they found them in. Finally, after seven countless months, Dylan's body was found eight miles away from his father's house up in the mountains. But at first, only half of Dylan's body was found. His head was still missing. And guess what this piece of shit told Dylan's older brother? He told him that without Dylan's head, the police would not be able to determine it was a homicide from blunt force trauma to the head. Now, how would he know that Dylan had blunt force trauma to the head? Because, believe it or not, I know this sounds crazy, but he actually said that to his son. It's in the court documents. But thank God, Dylan's head was eventually found. And guess what? Guess what? There was, in fact, blunt force trauma to the head that would later be said in court to be the cause of death. But here's what really pisses me off. They found Dylan's body in 2013. Mark Redwine wouldn't be arrested until 2017, even with all the information they had against him. Mark was finally arrested on July 22nd, 2017. Uh, I will post the actual footage of him being arrested to my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Uh, but he pled not guilty due to lack of motive. Lack of motive? Do you remember the pictures that Dylan found? You guys already know I can't post those pictures here, but if you did want to see them again, they are posted to my YouTube channel. Prosecution had to fight what that motive was in court, a part of it being, when Dylan told his father he knew about the pictures and never wanted to speak to him again, Mark became enraged and immediately went to the courthouse requiring Dylan to come over for a court-ordered visit on November 18th. And to prevent his dirty little secret from getting out, he killed his son Dylan to protect his reputation. Long story short, on July 16th, 2021, he was finally found guilty. Oh, you dirty mother... And in the next part, we are finally going to get to this dirty motherfucker's birth chart. And yes, 18 and 22 degrees do have... True Crime Astrology so if you haven't seen my videos talking about this case, this is the chart of Mark Redwine. He murdered his son after he found very disturbing images of him on his computer. This sick bastard was a Virgo sun, Aquarius moon, and a Taurus rising. But I want to focus on the degrees here, because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that the 18th and the 22nd degree are the two of the most evil degrees to have in astrology. But let me put a disclaimer in here. If you have the 18th or 22nd degree in your chart, or you know somebody that has these degrees, you cannot think that you or the person that you know is an evil person. These degrees will be expressed in many different ways. Some of them can be through mental illness, another one through very intrusive thoughts, dark intrusive thoughts, or just trauma. You choose whether or not you act on the dark intrusive thoughts, and Mark Redwine definitely chose to act on them. Not only is he a moon at 18 degrees, but he also has his eighth house cusp at 18 degrees, and the eighth house is the sex house. He had a lot of 
dark, sick fantasies. But the eighth house could also rule secrets, and the ruler of his eighth house is Jupiter, almost exactly conjunct his midheaven. He wanted to try desperately to keep his taboo secrets from getting out into public, but with Jupiter right on there, it was almost going to be impossible to do that. He also has his son conjunct Pluto, which is the planet of death and rebirth, and also conjunct Lilith though, which is on his north node too. And Lilith is like the shadow self. And when she's in Leo, she demands attention. She thinks that not enough people are uh, giving her the attention that she deserves. And when Dylan threatened to cut all contact off from him and completely cut him out of his life, that really fucking triggered him. And then he was able to tap into the death of Pluto, the sickness of the 18th and 22nd degree, and fucking kill him.